am Chef Lori's here. Welcome back to the Love Lab. Thanksgiving is upon us. And you guys, maybe this year because of COVID, you're not having a big, big Thanksgiving and you just want to make a turkey breast. Well, come on in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful roasted turkey breast here. You do not want to miss this recipe. It's one of my new faves. Come on in the kitchen, guys. Let's cook. So step one is brining the turkey. Here I have a gallon of water that I've put into a nice big pot, and to that we're gonna add quite a bit of salt. You're gonna need like a cup and a half to a cup, cup to a cup and a half of salt, and I'm using kosher salt. You don't wanna use table salt if you can avoid it because that's just not gonna give you the same flavor, but if all you have is table salt, it's fine, but try not to use the one that's um, iodized. You know what I'm talking about? Try not to do that because that'll change the flavor. All right, so in here we've got our salt, and we've got water, and here I've got brown sugar. The brown sugar in the brine is going to help the color of it later when we cook it. And then we're also going to add a mixture of, I've got some dry thyme in here, and some uh, sage in here, and underneath that, let me show you, see that? I don't know if you can see it, it's peppercorns, okay? I'm gonna put all this in here, see there? And I've got some bay leaves. I'm gonna crush these up. A little bit in there like that and I've got a ton of garlic because I love garlic and I want the flavor everywhere so you do you but garlic is my friend so I'm gonna put this in there too I actually took a whole head of garlic and just just took the skin off all of it and popped it in then we've also got some rosemary I'm using fresh rosemary today you can use fresh or uh, dry it doesn't matter and I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic broth now this is interesting Normally I would put a cup and a half closer to two cups of salt in this brine because it's a gallon of water. But because I want to add, use my better than bouillon garlic base, I'm gonna, I reduce my salt down to about like a cup, just about maybe a cup and a quarter. And I'm going to add in this. Now concentrated broth has a salt factor of its own. So that's why I reduce the amount of salt that I put in directly. I'm trading it out for a little bit of this garlic broth. And we're doing just basically an herb brine on this turkey. You can use really any flavors you want. There's there's not a rule on this. Oops, whoop. <laughs> That's probably should be a rule not to do that. There's really not a rule on this though, but you can just um, use whatever flavors you want, you know? So I love herbs and garlic. I have a thing for them. We've been dating for a while. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these all over the breast. All right, now I've got everything in the pot. I'm gonna give the pot, give us a stir, and we're going to bring this to a simmer. We don't need to bring it to a boil, just to a simmer, because we just want the salt and the sugar to dissolve, okay? Once that happens, then we're gonna let it cool off, and we're going to take our turkey breast here, and we're using a five and a half pound turkey breast. We're gonna put it in a bag, get it all sealed up, and let it sit for 24 hours. So I'm gonna bring this to a simmer, and I'll be back. So guys, our um, brine has come together nicely. It's just a little bit of a simmer. I did add a tablespoon of dry rosemary in here because I like the fresh rosemary, but I wanted to make sure I really got that flavor in there. So I added some dry rosemary. Okay, and look, it's not boiling. It's just come to a simmer and the sugar and the salt have dissolved. And so I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna take this off the heat and let it cool before I put it in the bird. Well, before I put the bird in it. And the reason I'm gonna let it cool first is because you know, poultry can cook pretty easily. So if we just put a bunch of hot water in there, it's gonna start cooking the turkey and that's not what we want. We don't want this turkey breast to start cooking just yet. So I'm gonna cool this off. You can also cool it off with an ice bath um, if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna kind of let it sit here for a little bit and just, you know, get where I want it to be. And then we will come back and get our turkey in the bag and start the brining process. Okay, family, so I have set this out for about an hour. I actually put it in my refrigerator so that it could cool a little bit quicker. It's not cold, but it's not piping hot anymore. See, it's still, you can touch it without burning your hand, okay? And that's what I wanted. So I've got the bird here, the bird breast. <laughs> At least it's not a bird brain. Okay, sorry, I was, that was corny, but you guys know me. <laughs> what we're gonna do, we've got a bucket here, we're gonna put it in, in a bag, all right? So we're gonna take our time. I'm gonna use gloves because I don't wanna get my hands dirty. That doesn't make sense, does it? How can I not get my hands dirty? I don't know, but I'm always thinking about it. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in a 
few step process because it's important to take your time. Something can go wrong. <laughs> All right, here is the breast. I've washed it out very well, okay? Had it in there, I'm gonna put it in the bag. And I'm putting it in a bag to make sure that everything can stay covered, okay? And I'm just using this bowl to hold it initially. See here, so what I'm gonna do, actually turn it this way, okay? I probably didn't need this bowl. I could have just gone here. Ah, whatever, you live, you learn. You know, these things happen. Okay, next we're gonna take this brine, and we may not need the entire gallon of water, but I'm not sure that we won't. So, we're gonna start, we've got a measuring cup here. Opening this bag, and I'm just gonna start by filling the cup up like this. Okay, and I'm gonna lower it in and pour this flavor, the brine, into the bag. And I wanna make sure that the turkey breast is completely covered. You can also do this with a, a whole turkey. It doesn't have to just be a breast. You can do it with legs or wings or whatever parts you wanna do it with. This is just how I'm choosing to do it. Okay, this is working perfectly. You see, it's not hot anymore, so I can kinda touch it. And this flavor is going to get all into our turkey breast. And the salt is really going to help it um, draw out some of the moisture, but draw it out in a way that's gonna help it hold on to moisture. So it's gonna make it so it's not so dry. Cause y'all know turkey breast can be dry. Not this one. <laughs> okay. See, I wanna cover the whole thing. Let me see. I think I can pour the rest down. Take my time, just don't wanna make a mess. Yeah, I need the whole gallon, how about that? See those garlic cloves and everything. And here's a few of the peppercorns down there at the bottom, just gonna make sure all of that comes out. Everything's been dissolved in there. There we go, see that? Fully covered. I'm gonna close my bag, make sure I get the air out, okay? You can leave, I want you to see this, see? It's completely covered, okay? You can leave this just in a bag by itself and, and put it in the refrigerator or you can put it in a pot um, or whatever. I'm using my sous vide thing because this is what I use for um, when I sous vide and it's big enough. So why not, right? So <laughs> even though it has a top here with a little hole where the sous vide machine goes, that doesn't matter. We're just gonna put it down. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna let her soak in this for 24 hours. Okay, I know it's like really, I'm trying to tell y'all, this, this one of times you really shouldn't cut corners, okay? I'm gonna give you one. If you just let it sit overnight, you will probably be okay. But for best results, 24 hours. All right, and into the refrigerator, she goes. Okay, family, so I have brined the turkey overnight. It has been 24 hours in the fridge and I wanna show you what has happened. Look at this, you see this? This is our turkey breast, sitting in the juice. It's brown like that, because remember we put a little garlic broth in there with it? That is where all our goodies are. So what I'm gonna do is take this over to the sink. I'm going to pour this out because we cannot use this anymore. This liquid is done, it has done its job. And I'm going to put the turkey on a tray and come back over, the turkey breast, and come back over and we're gonna continue from there. Let's keep going. So here is our turkey breast. I've gotten rid of all of the brine liquid. I had to pour it down. I used actually like a strainer to make sure that I didn't get things stuck in my disposal because I put garlic in there, remember? And we used the actual whole thing of a fresh um, rosemary spray. Now, what we wanna do is dry the turkey off, pat or dry. And don't worry, this is not going to do something bad to the flavor. We're not gonna compromise all of the work that we just did, I promise you. Okay, use paper towels for this part. And I'm wearing my gloves now because it just helps me feel a little bit better. <laughs> okay, just giving her a good pat inside and everything. See there? Okay, now I think what I would like to do, is I want to open her up just a little bit more. So I'm going to go under here and just, just a little, okay? See how I broke her back just a little bit? Yeah, and I did that so she can sit up, okay? So I'm gonna just give her one more little pat. I hope you saw that. 
And what we're gonna do now is rub her down in butter and herbs because what we did with that brining solution has got her already inside. She ready. <laughs> now we're going to roast this in cast iron. You can use a, a regular pan, do, do what you do. Okay, I'm not getting in all that, but I'm just gonna use my cast iron because it's just a turkey breast. And the reason I wanted to open her up and break her back a little bit is I want her to sit up like this when she's in the skillet. Okay. So, let's make some space. Here I have two sticks of butter. I'm gonna take my gloves off because I'm gonna mix up my um, rub here and I don't want to, I wanna be able to just touch like I want to, okay? So I've got two sticks of butter and these butter sticks are at room temperature. I left them sitting out so they can get nice and soft, see? Just like that, okay? Now, I'm going to you take some garlic powder. I didn't pre-measure these because you know, this is one of those times when you really need to just let the ancestors speak. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm going to uh, sort of officially go in with about a tablespoon or so of each. So this is garlic powder, okay? And again, this is one of those times where you're really, you really, you can over season it, but it's very hard to over season a turkey breast. I've never had an over seasoned turkey breast in my life. <laughs> okay, here's some thyme leaves. We're using the basic same herb blend we used before. Tablespoon of that. Parsley. And again, whatever you choose to use, if you're gonna do it Cajun style, use your Cajun, that's fine. With our parsley. Some basil. These are Yes, these are my little dry kitchen herbs. Y'all see what I'm working with? I like to use fresh herbs too, but you know, dry herbs are actually stronger. And in a situation like this, I recommend this. And a little bit of rosemary. And that garlic powder in there is gonna also help. Remember we put the garlic broth in there and we put in um, whew, some actual cloves of garlic, remember that? Okay, all right, so here's our butter and our rub. Just gonna mix this together, just like this, see? It's not hard to do. You want the butter to be nice and soft. That's really important. So you can get this all in it. And I'm using unsalted butter. Remember we've salt, uh, brined this in a salt water solution, basically. So we'll salt the top a little bit, but the meat has a lot of salt that it's already gonna be holding on to. So that's the whole point of brine, okay? All right, here we go. You see how nicely that mixed up, see that? We just simply took our fork or whatever you want to use and just mix it together. Okay, now, whew, let me get some more gloves. I, have, I, I go through lots of gloves when I'm turkey cooking. You know, I'm I probably just need a whole box called turkey. <laughs> okay, oh, the other thing I want to do this before I finish is I'm going to put around the bottom of it, we're going to lay an onion, some more garlic cloves, and a little bit of lemon. I'm going to take this lemon and actually put the zest in here. To really give it a nice bright flavor the acid of the lemon juice is just this is beautiful lemon juice is a pretty thing yeah you don't have to even worry about going overboard don't zest till you get to the white when you get to the white stop because that's the pith and that part is not good that part don't taste that part ain't good okay so i like using these little thin zesters like this well, what is it? This is specifically for this. A microplaner thing it is. Anyway, I'll show you what we're gonna do. So we're taking this, see that? Okay, so we zested it. That little bit of zest right there will go a long way. Okay, no more stuff. All right. Now, other gloves back on. Y'all, it's Thanksgiving time. I'm so excited. I love Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna slice this onion, I mean, onion, the lemon up, okay? Here's the lemon. I'm gonna slice it like that. I'm gonna put it on the bottom of our side. Ooh, I'm just, I'm just cut, cut my glove. And here's my garlic cloves as well. I'll give them a quick little rough chop. And remember, anything that's in the bottom of the skillet, we can use it after it comes out to make our gravy. All right, so let's get ready to do this. Y'all ready? You ready? All right, here it is. Back broken all. See, this is why I'm using the skillet. Doesn't that look good? It looks authentic. <laughs> Authentically what? I don't know. <laughs> okay. First things first. 
Take your finger and run it under the skin. You wanna loosen the skin up a little bit. You see how I did that, okay? This is important. See how the skin loosened there? I didn't go crazy, I'm not trying to take the skin off. I'm just trying to loosen it, okay? Same thing over here. Find yourself a little opening, and you'll find, don't force it, you'll find an opening in the skin, okay? Okay, and you see, I'm using my finger to separate that space, and I'm going up as far as I can, so you even up in here, okay? Now, we're gonna take this butter mixture, we're gonna put it under there, underneath the skin, like this. This is gonna help that flavor cook it. See, it's like a little pocket. You see how I put that all the way in there? It's like a little pocket, okay? A little bit more in there. Just like that, and then I'm going to spread it out. See, okay, I'm going this side, a little bit over here. Where do we find our little opening here? There it is. Okay, let's take a little bit here, put it under like that. I'm telling you, turkey breast is the best way to go, especially if you've never made a turkey before. If you've never made a turkey, or if you just don't want to make something really big, first time I did a turkey for Thanksgiving, I did a turkey breast. It's a great introduction. Now, if I do one, it's because I just don't feel like being bothered with the bird, you know? It's a lot. It's a big bird. Okay, that was a lot of butter I put on that one. Let me do just a little bit more right here. Okay. All right. So you see what we did? Now, here's the, the sides of the breast and everything. We don't have legs and thighs because we're just using a breast this time. Just make sure I put a little bit more under there. That side. And I'm going to come up here. And again, I'm going to find a little pocket. I know there's one here. There's always a skin pocket somewhere, right? Can you find it yet? There it is. Found it. Okay, and put some more butter in there. Now the rest of this butter, we're gonna take and rub all over the top of our turkey breast. Okay, now this is gonna be weird because it's gonna stick to your gloves and you're gonna have all this type of stuff here going on. I don't know any other way to tell you to do it, okay? Some stuff you're just gonna have to deal with. This is part of, this is this is on the list of things you're just gonna have to deal with, okay? Now this butter though is gonna give it a really good flavor, a beautiful color, and uh, it's gonna be everything, okay? See how I'm doing that? I'm just spreading it like that. Ooh, I almost got on my shirt. Y'all know I don't like getting my clothes dirty when I'm cooking, I don't, I don't play that. I pick my clothes with great care. <laughs> okay, before I finish laying the rest of this on here, what I'm actually gonna do is put this onion and these, this lemon under here. So you see, I'm gonna, probably should've put that on before I get the butter well. Look at this, can you see? I'm taking these lemon slices here and I'm just placing them underneath like this, okay? And I'm doing the same with these garlic cloves. These are not the same garlic cloves that we used to brine with. Everything you used to brine with needs to be thrown away. Do not reuse any herbs. Okay, right there. And then this is just a yellow onion that I'm cutting with my butter hands. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, y'all. <laughs> I wanted to show you real time what it's like, you know? Okay. And I'm gonna take this onion and just kinda lay it under here as well. Yeah. Kind of like putting it in the cavity, but we don't really have a cavity. We sort of have a cavity. And then just lay it around. Right there. And there. Ooh, oh, just a big chunk of butter. There. Don't worry, I clean my stove first. Let me think uh, my stove is clean. My house stay clean. Okay. All right, now let's get the rest of this butter on here. I may have to just, I may have to de-glove y'all. I think I'm gonna have to de-glove and get an actual spatula or something. Let me see, I got a spoon. Let me see if this will help me. There we go. Boom, mama. You see how I'm doing that? I'm going on the side too. I'm using the spoon to spread and my hand to get it on there. See that? Just took a minute for us to figure out how we wanted to do this, y'all. Yes, see that? We're gonna start this in the oven at 450 degrees, okay? So I've got the oven set to 450 degrees. It's already preheated. And as soon as I put it in the oven, though, I'm gonna turn it down to 350. 
okay? And I'm gonna turn it down so it can bake, but by having it at that nice high temperature at first, it's gonna help this outside skin here get a nice golden brown. Now, I'm gonna check it after about an hour, and if it's gotten as golden brown as I want it to be, then what I'm gonna do is cover it with foil loosely so it doesn't just keep browning, but it'll keep cooking, okay? And we wanna cook it to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. That's very important with poultry. Don't play, this is not steak. We don't play those games. You know, with steak, we want it medium with some red or whatever. We don't play that with uh, birds, okay? You cook the bird till the bird's done or something real bad could happen. That's just the truth, okay? And don't worry about trying to make this be pretty and perfect like I'm going overboard right now. <laughs> I am, I admit it. And you might think, oh, there's nothing at the bottom of the pan. Well, that's okay, because as it cooks, the juices from inside are gonna come out and this butter is gonna melt and we're gonna baste it from time to time, okay? But we don't have to do a ton of basting because the breast is only gonna need, this was cooking about two, two hours. You know, so it's not like the turkey that needs, you know, 17 hours or whatever to cook, it's not gonna take that long, it's just a turkey breast. So we don't have to do a ton of basting. We just wanna make sure this is on there so this can melt and give us some pretty color. All right, I think we did good. Does that look good, y'all? You see? Yeah. And there's flavor in there. Oh yeah, those little pieces of lemon zest. All right, that looks good. Now I'm gonna clean off this, clean this off around so that it won't have butter melting everywhere. I'm gonna actually put this on a baking tray in the oven. Well, family, our turkey breast was in the oven for a total of about an hour and 45 minutes or so. Um, I checked it at an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Use a meat thermometer, I'm telling you those are your friend. Push it into the thigh area, make sure you don't hit the bone. And, look, voila, isn't she absolutely beautiful? Look at this, and I'm just gonna baste a little bit. On here, look at the herbs in there and how that butter turned the skin. A beautiful brown, golden brown color. And what you wanna do is let it rest. I've let it rest for about 10 minutes, which is important because you don't want all the juices to just flop out, you know what I mean? Bird like this, my daddy used to say, you know, something is good you guys take time with, it. you know what I'm saying? So take your time with it. Now, I'm not gonna make a gravy with this one because it's just a breast and this ain't no dry breast because we brined it first, right? Uh-huh, and then we took our time and we roasted it. So, let's, I'm scared to cut it, y'all, because I don't know how to cut no turkey. I ain't never cut a turkey before. I oh, Lord. <laughs> let's pray I don't mess it up because she's so pretty. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna get my husband to cut it and then I'm gonna come back. Hold on, family. <laughs> All right, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I had to get my husband to cut it because I didn't want to mess it up, it was so pretty, look! So he went down the middle and then he sliced it all pretty for me. He, lo he loves me. Anyway, y'all, I told him to leave a little bit on here because I wanted to pull it off. Ooh, look. Look, y'all, I'm gonna put in this little juice right here. See, because I'm not gonna even have to make, I'm gonna, I mean, for Thanksgiving, and make you some gravy, but I'm not making gravy with this today. And it's got the skin on it, let me see. Can you see that, the skin? Crisp, you hear that? Ah, ah, and those onions in there. Oh my God. Oh. Mm. Oh, brining makes all the difference, I'm telling you. There is so much flavor all the way through. Oh, it tastes like, you know sometimes turkey don't taste like nothing. This turkey tastes like this beautiful herb, garlic, butter. It's juicy, it's, <laughs> okay, y'all get the picture, okay? So we went through the whole process. Brine it, bake it, all of that, okay? Don't forget when you cut it, you know, you wanna turn it a little bit, cut it off the bone and everything so you know you can eat it right. I, this is pretty cut, okay? But figure, you know, cut it right so you can eat it. But this thing right here, I need another piece. Woo! Thanks for joining me. Have a happy Thanksgiving. You can do it. You can do this on a turkey breast. You can do this on an entire turkey. Whatever you need to do, you do it. Whatever flavor you want to do, you do it. And I will see you next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabana cooking with Chef Lori's. That's me. Happy cooking.